Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing the My First Time video. I know you nasties are thinking Man's got a blue face, diamonds in the rollie, they ain't AZ like it's Blu-ray The way that I've been ballin' should make the cover of 2K So out for the summer, I might pull up in a new race But I'm going to be doing the very first time I got The very, not the very first time I got caught The very first time I snuck out I did it like three times In October and I got caught Like, so October 2018 It was during like sophomore year, this past school year and I got caught the third time because like my sister-in-law came over and I wasn't here so she texted my mom like hey where's Kayla like what is she doing and I was like with Dawson because like my parents didn't know like we were dating or anything okay that yeah that was in October he and he had asked me out September like the night of homecoming and then like my sister-in-law came she texted my mom and then my like I wasn't on my phone but we were just driving around listening to music and then my mom texted me she's like where like where the f are you like why aren't you home and like i had so and then i i called my sister-in-law thinking that like she wouldn't tell my mom that i was here but she did and then when i called my sister-in-law my mom answered the phone and i was like wait did i call like the right person because it was my mom works like the weekdays like weekday nights and it was monday night so i was like like not expecting my mom to be the one to answer the phone and my mom answered and I got in trouble, like, on the phone, blah, blah, blah. She's like, where the hell are you? Like, what are you doing? And then I was like, um, I'm at Walmart. But, like, I clearly didn't believe that because, like, my location is on. And my mom could see that. And I guess I had shared my location with my sister-in-law and I, I just forgot. So then she came to, like, pick me up because I did actually, like, because we were just driving around. So I had him, like, drop me off at Walmart. And I was like, so then he dropped me off at Walmart. And then my sister-in-law, like, came and I was like walking I was like so scared I haven't called my friend Elisa I was like Elisa like I'm about to get my beat okay and then I was on the phone with Elisa I was like bro like I'm in deep stuff like I'm gonna get in so much trouble and then Elisa's sister Anna my other friend was like just like come over here like don't like just don't go home and I was like bro then that's uh, just that's gonna make everything worse so then my sister-in-law came and saw me at Walmart and then we came back to my house and then we had to go take my mom like lunch or something because I guess she went back to work but she couldn't go and get lunch on her actual break because she came over here and I wasn't here you know and then we went and took my mom lunch and I was like so scared I got in like the back of my sister-in-law's car I was like and I thought my mom was gonna take my phone that night so I like hid my phone under like a bunch of stuff and then after she got done questioning me she like grabbed my wrist because I was just sitting there like I do not play the fucking game. And then the next morning when she got home from work, that 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 was a bad day. So then like she gets home around like from work at like 6:30 in the morning and I was up at 6:30 because my alarm was set for 6:30 to like get up and get ready for school. Cuz after like I read the bus so I had to like leave at like leave my house at 7:15 so I had to be ready like so I would always get up at like 6:30 in the morning and so I was up when she got home and then she came in my room and then, like she didn't tell my dad yet and like my parents are like super strict super strict so then she didn't tell my dad yet and then I had to deal with like that in the morning she's like tell your dad what you were doing and like all this stuff and then like I had her yelling at me in like person I had my dad yelling at me on the phone and it was it was not a good morning and then Okay, and then I was grounded for like a whole month. So I got caught October 29th, then my mom took my phone October 30th. And I, like it sucked so much because I had like so much going on in the month of November. Like the first weekend I had to go to Farmington, New Mexico for a church retreat. And then the weekend after that was my brother's wedding and I wanted to like take pictures and stuff. They did give my phone for that and then like I had to give it back to my mom I think that Monday. And then I had to take it away for like that whole week. And then I think I got it back the like a little before the month ended. But it just sucked so much and then like they like didn't trust me very much like beginning of like you know after that. And it like sucked because like I was in like so much trouble. I'm like I had this whole time I didn't have a phone. So like I didn't talk to Dawson for like that whole time. And then my dad was like cuz my dad did not want me to have a boyfriend. And he was like so like what are you are you still dating this guy? And I was like, oh, um, I think, like, we were dating for, like, a whole month before you took my phone away. But then, like, when they gave me my phone back, like, 
Dawson, of course, knew what was going on before I, like, got my phone to him. I was like, hey, like, I'm getting grounded. Can't talk to you, blah, blah. Like, I'm not going to have a phone. Talk to you, like, when I get my phone back. And then, so, I think after, like, a week, no, maybe, like, two weeks after me having my phone back, like, I got my phone back. And then my mom, so, like, there was a parade of lights. And I was, like... Can I like because I was still grounded? I like asked my mom, I was like, Hey, can like Dustin come like meet us at the parade of lights? She said, Okay, so then he came, and then but like we only got to hang out like when like ever my parents like were okay with it. And then my dad met him, and then like I thought he was gonna ask him like so much more, but he didn't. But like I lost like my parents trust and like it was just like really bad so moral of the story is don't sneak out like if you want to have like a boyfriend or something like just ask your parents about it like before you go doing stupid stuff like that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this story time and yes I did get on October like the morning my mom came home I did get my beat so yeah that hurt a little. <laughs> lot so yeah moral of the story don't sneak out listen to your parents like it i feel like things are just easier if your parents know what you're doing so yeah thank you for watching this video if you do like it give it a thumbs up if you want to see more of my content subscribe thank you for watching